Hi Cancer, I'm here to give you insight for the month of January. This is going to be a mid-month reading, so from uh, January 15th to the 31st. So let's take a look and see what we got going on. The Ace of Swords is out here again, okay? It was in the, <laughs> I think it was in the Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. No, Aries and Taurus reading. Okay, so Ace of Swords, so seeing the truth, clarity as well, okay, so some of you are receiving the truth or um, receiving news about something, it, this is definitely a strong energy of awareness, this could also talk about um, cutting away something, maybe even people that have no longer served you, okay, we got the uh, star card here, so healing, okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart, but um, I was hearing I'm on the mend. So some of you cancers could be healing from something here or there's a need for you to heal. Um, some of you have been um, praying about something. Okay. Um, I was hearing like an answered prayer. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This looks like the damn Taurus reading. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, you could be done with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay, I was hearing like a mother figure, so a mother figure could be a focus for you, maybe you're wanting to heal a relationship with the mother figure, or heal, heal a relationship with somebody that's an earth sign, okay, um, let me shuffle these cards some more. Mm, okay, this is uh, great news about finances as well. This is security. Some of you have been praying for security, some type of stability, and I feel like you're getting that. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing here that by you removing something or re removing some burdens or removing something that was no longer serving you, it will... Um, move you towards healing and a sense of stability and maturity I, I see here all right we got the three of pentacles here so i feel like you're definitely um I don't know why I was hearing on the up and up. Okay, the three of pentacles is the lord of material working. So there's some things that you're working on or have have been working on or you're needing to work on um whether that be in the workplace or whether you're working with others in your personal life here um this is i don't know why i was hearing juggling okay some of you could be working really hard some of you could be receiving news about a job something about work receiving news about work okay We've got the King of Pentacles, wow, which is really nice. Can't hold the damn card. Okay, King of Pentacles. So this could talk about a marriage. You could be married to somebody or in a union with somebody. This is giving me like twin flame energy. But with the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, hmm, I just feel like you're doing fine. You're doing okay financially. Your needs are, are met. Um... There could be somebody that's not pulling their weight, okay, when it comes to the relationship. So you could be contemplating maybe cutting them off or maybe you have already cut them off. They're a weak link. Excuse me. This is somebody who's devoted to you, Cancer. You could be this person who's devoted, okay. You're devoted to someone. Maybe you're receiving counseling. Some of you could be going to like marriage counseling or receiving some type of counseling. Okay. I was hearing like a mediation. All right. Four of swords. So there's peace here. Rest. So there is definitely encouragement for you to rest. Okay. Some of you could be doing way too much. You are overworking yourself. I mean, looking at this three of pentacles, like it's like juggling here. So maybe you are putting in a lot of work. Maybe you have a lot of work, a wor lot of workload or something like that. But there's a need for you to rest, to be, um, maybe be at peace in some type of way. Um, there is just a, there's a strong energy of survival mode. Like I got to survive. I got to do this because I got to survive. Like it's like an energy of that very, like, I don't know. 
how to describe that energy, but it's, it's stressful. Okay. It's like, it's like survival mode here. It's like I can't rest or I can't sleep because there's so much shit going on. Okay, there's always something I'm hearing. It's like there's always something going on. So it's kind of hard for me to rest. But it's like it's crazy because like you are the person for the job. You can handle stress, but it may not be the best for you. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you... Um, cancers had manifested this okay this sense of stability that's this like i don't know like this this position that you're in some of you are definitely in a leadership position and it's like you manifested this but it could it could it's like for some of you it's like you have restless nights okay it can, it can disturb your your peace okay some of you could be in no communication with somebody all right, somebody's like praying for you. You're praying for somebody. There's an energy of that. Okay, you may not be talking to a mother figure or talk. You may not be talking to someone. Okay, it's just the energy of that. Some of you are hearing the truth. Somebody is a star, some like all eyes are on them. Okay. Some of you could be in a public eye. There is some type of recognition here, but it's just like I don't know. There is the four of swords. It's an energy of kind of like being low key, kind of hiding out. This is something that you prayed for. Whatever this position is or whatever the heck you're doing, Cancer, something that you prayed for and that you somewhat, I want to say manifested, but it's more so like prayed for, like you desired this, but I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot going on here. It's like some of you could be happy for the blessing, but it's just there's something that's, I don't know, a little off. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, we got the Feeding Crows transformation. So you're going through a transformation at this time. Some of you could just be really going through it, okay? I mean, look at her. She is like, oh my God. Okay, the cor the crows are probably making all types of noise and pecking at her head and <laughs> just feels disturbed, okay? It's just the energy of feeling disturbed here. Okay, uh, for some of you, but for others of you, you definitely are going through a transformation. Um, some of you may want to be left alone. There's just too much going on. So you're definitely needing to transmute energies, distractions, things like that. Deep being, self-love and acceptance. So you're needing to practice self-love. Okay. Connect deeper with yourself. Love yourself enough to get rest. Love yourself enough to see the truth of the matter. Love yourself enough to heal. And then we have poison thorn, low vibration. So you could be engaging in some things that are not healthy for you, some things that are low vibrational, but it feels good to you, or maybe it's beautiful to you. This can be a person, it could be substance, it could be really anything. So you need to love yourself enough not to expose yourself to low vibrations, okay? This could be definitely be, you know, you dealing with somebody who's toxic in your life, okay? Um... But maybe you still love them or you're still, yeah, I don't know. Like it could be a relationship, family. It could really be anything, okay, or any type of situation. But you need to protect your boundaries. Okay, cancer snack. So you see somebody as a snack or they see you as a snack. Yummy. There's the energy of somebody crushing on someone. Someone 
um, feeling really attracted to you or you're feeling really attracted to someone, there's also jealousy surrounding you, okay? So somebody could be jealous of you or you could be the one jealous of somebody else, okay? And then shadow, okay? So shadow's coming out again, okay? It was in the other readings as well. Um, I think in the Aries and Taurus reading and I think also Gemini. But yeah, there's some shadow work that needs to be done. You could be dealing with somebody that's low vibrational, that is showing their shadow side. For some of you, you need to just be aware of this. You know, your shadow side could be jealousy. Your shadow side could be, you know, doing things that are low vibrational. You take it as a resonance, but there's definitely a need for shadow work. Okay. And then your advice going forward. Let's take a look. Cancer's advice going forward. Cancer's advice going forward. I was hearing narcissistic. Me, me, me. You could be dealing with somebody who's a narc. Okay, so we have victory, hope, love, and art. So this is your advice going forward. This is Venus. Venus is the planet of love, beauty, and art. So you need to tap into that energy to create love, um, art in your life. Okay. Art is creating also hope for some of you. You're going to need to have a, a bit more hope. Some of you could be uh, in a low vibration, like a Debbie downer mode, feeling helpless and hopeless, you know, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel or even at the beginning of the tunnel. Okay. So you're needing to try to cultivate some more hope and positive energy in your life. Uh, in your life, you know, tap into that creative mode. All right, cancer. This is the end of your reading.